Hey, Wolfpack, how's it going? All right, so I'm testing all my equipment because I had a little bit of um, my sound went out. So I'm hoping you can hear me. I am live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. I'm Angela Wolf, for those of you that don't know me. And today we are working a little bit more with some stretch velvet. I made this early. I made this before, though. And yesterday I was wearing this. I'm going to give you a little closer look at what I did to the neckline here and how to do that with velvet. So I see you all. So I just finished hanging out with you just a few minutes ago. Did you miss or were you able to get into the dime event? It was fantastic. Ashley always has so many good tips. So I'm going to make sure that, by the way, I have... Um, the link for that, I'll put it in the comments. In case you missed that event, you can go back and watch the replay for 48 hours. I know that there were some glitches. I think I just saw a phone call from Beverly and some others, so I apologize. Um, I was too busy watching the show. I missed it. I saw a lot of your emails and I replied, but I missed Beverly's. So, hello, hello. All right, so, Karen, I got to look at your Lacey picture. I haven't seen it yet, so I'll have to go in and check that out. I did change my top, Arnell. I wore the other one just because it had embroidery. Now we're back to the stretch velvet. So a couple things today. I'm going to show you a few more things on the cover stitch machine. I'm going to show you how to widen the neckline on the rouge T to come up with something like this. So you all know this fabric came in, right? And I, my least favorite from all of it was <laughs> the purple. I liked the dark purple. I like the royal blue. I still have some burgundy. The brown, I think, is almost all gone. There's a few colors left, but it's almost all gone. This was my least favorite. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make a tank top out of this. So I started to make it. I tried it on, and I love the color. This is that bright purple, the one I said, e, no way. And then I turned the sleeves into like a three-quarter. If you missed it, I was on yesterday's show. That's where I wore it. And I did the twisted neckline. I haven't even put in my label yet, but I did hem it. So I thought, you know what? Last week I showed you how to press up the hem and do some hems with velvet. Now, pressing can be very, 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 not challenging wouldn't be the right word, dangerous when it comes to velvet. So I thought I'm going to show some of you another way to hem without pressing because another thing is if you're using the velvet board, not it doesn't always work for the hems. So I'm going to give you tips for that. And then guess what? Our big giveaway, our 50,000, now we're at 51,000 subscribers on YouTube. And thanks to Blaine and Sewing Machines Plus, we are giving away an embroidery machine, the LB5000S, I believe is what he told me, uh, which is very cool. So if you didn't get the newsletter yesterday, make sure you sign up for that. That was in there along with today's event. So I'll make sure that I can see you all. Karina, nice to see you. And I'll go in and look for your post there. So I have another giveaway for you today as well, by the way. So <laughs> on this weekend, if you missed the newsletter, so here is your entertainment for the day. We got to the cottage early. I had my jean pattern, everything ready to start uploading for our Sewing Designer Jeans 2.0 class. And there's no internet. I thought it was kind of weird because the video, you know, we have surveillance system and then it went out. And I thought, well, power must have gone out. No. The internet went out and it turns out the service that we use, they're awesome. They were there in like uh, less than an hour and we're in the middle of nowhere, right? We find out that the squirrels, which are antennas like at the top of a pine tree, <laughs> sounds like we're like going back in time, right? But that's where it is. The squirrels chew through the cord. Not only do that, they, do they do that, they did it all weekend. So if we sit in the hot tub, we could just see them going up and eating more and bringing more down. <sighs> So anyways, they're coming out on Friday to fix it. But until then, it kind of put me behind schedule like for a whole week. So the Jeans 2.0 class is being postponed and next week's Thanksgiving and I'm not doing anything on Thanksgiving except for eating and shopping and spending time with family. Of course, we have a few live shows, but other than that, uh, it'll be postponed to the week after. So what was gonna be in November is going to be in December. So in case you're wondering where that is, that's what happened with that. The squirrels definitely, Whew. Yeah. And those of you that live in Michigan or anywhere near here, you know it's opening deer season on Monday and you're not going to get anybody to do any work this week. So I was pretty grateful that they would come out on Friday. So that's that in case you were wondering. But I posted a photo and I'm going to share my screen here. 
I posted a photo of the snow and how beautiful it was up north. So let me just share this. And I just want you to know that I actually do read all your posts. Maybe not that exact moment, but I go back a little bit later. I, my goodness, Wolfpack, you were in Italy. You were in Alaska. You were all over the country sharing photos out your window. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do another giveaway at the end as well. Everyone that posted on Sunday after my photo, one random winner is going to win one of my new thread snips. Congrats. This is a Angela Wolf thread snips from Thread Cutters. I love these. So because you posted a photo on Sunday, I will bring that up here in just a second. And at the end, I'm going to draw one winner for that. I know, just a random thing because I want to. So hello, hello. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing all of you. Oh, yes, by the way, you want me to show the teal again, Marsha? I can't, I don't think there's any teal left. Oh, there might be two yards. I'll show it to you. It's over there. <laughs> I So I will do that, Marsha. By the way, a couple more pieces of news. Did you see that the International Sewing Arts Festival, it's basically sewing, sewing Arts Festival, the Quilts Festival is the week after. The classes are open and the fashion show is open. So I will be teaching Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then the fashion show with the VIP area, uh, so you, you'll get front row seats and then hang out with me for an hour after the show and kind of look at the garments up close. That's on Thursday. So the classes are open. They're open for enrollment. So that's the only event I'm doing for the first quarter of the year, I had already said I couldn't go to Puyallup because I have a trip planned, but now they're doing virtual. So uh, I would love to see you all in January. That's in Ontario, California. All right. Am I in, is missing anything else? I don't think so. Um, the only other thing is Fashion Sewing Club. We have our live monthly show and tell with a live Q&A on Zoom, and that is tomorrow. We don't usually do Zoom, but once a month we do just so we can see each other. Kind of makes it fun. So let me see if you have any questions before I take you to the velvets. <laughs> what did you wear when you hemmed it? I actually had a top on, Karina, so I'm cracking up with you. I received some more velvet. I received two more bolts of red and two more bolts of royal blue, and I'm not ordering any more. I think I bought them out of everything. <laughs> so I'll show you what I have left. But anyways, yes, for those of you that missed the story about the UPS guy. So yesterday I was hemming the purple top right before the live show. And I'm in the back corner over there. And I hear, because my doorbell doesn't work <laughs> at my office, I hear, <clears throat> hello, hello. <laughs> he yelled before he even walked in the door. And I'm like, it's safe. You can come in. So I think that's the new protocol. Give me a little heads up. But I was wearing a shirt. I was wearing a tank top. I'm keeping a tank top on hand now, so when I go back and forth to try on my clothes, I at least have uh, something on. <laughs> you know that bathing suit cover-up we made this summer? That's going to really come in handy here shortly, especially when I'm working on jeans. All right, well, I see a couple more questions here. Jennifer, great to see you. Can you still use a straight stitch machine with a stretch material? Mm -hmm, you can. So, Jennifer, you must have the machine that's similar to my brother, 1500, I'm guessing, unless you have a commercial machine. And, yes, you can use a straight stitch. But if you're going to do that on stretch fabric, shorten your stitch length. So make sure you're using something like a 2 point, I'd probably say 2.5. Test it because you want to make sure when you stretch it, if you watched the episode from last week, when you stretch it, you want to make sure that the stitches don't pop out. You could also use stretch thread in there, which that could help, too. I am wearing the Shirley wrap, so I'm wearing it over jeans, which I don't normally do. So let me give you the whole preview back here. There's the Shirley. Uh, do you know I have not hemmed this? I hemmed this section. I have not hemmed the bottom. So this is what it looks like. And this red is not the red I have, but it has little sparkles in it. So for those of you that have made the Shirley, here's another laugh for you. When you go to put it on, make sure you have both sides on. That's why I was a few minutes late. I couldn't figure out where the other side of my top went. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. Hey, Lorraine. And it was great to see you on the dime thing. And I'm glad you made it in there. All right, Molly from San Jose. All right, so we're going to talk about velvet. I'm going to do the drawing at the end. And if you've never been here before, welcome to the Wolf Pack. Say hi, say where you're from. It is always great to see where our sewing friends are. So let's go over to the table. And I want to show you how I did this neckline. This is the ruched tee with a twisted collar. But if you saw me yesterday, the neckline was quite a bit wider. So I have it on the table ready for you. 
All right. So if you take a look at this, this is the usual roof teeth. This is the top we were working on last week. And guess what happened? I was right. I cut the size too large, one size too large for my sleeves. That was the problem. So why I took the sleeves off, I thought, you know what? I'm going to make this a wider neckline too and show you how I did this. So I have the front and the back sewn together. And you could do this before you sew this together too. You, but you could do it on your pattern if you wanted to. So this is the purple, just to give you a little preview here. There's the purple. It's a twisted collar. So when it's on, it's not wrinkly. But if you look closely, I cut this three inches wide and then just twisted it. Now, if you look closely here, though, this is the back side. Let's go to the front. My shoulder is only, let's see an inch and a half wide, which if you look at this pattern here, this shoulder is about one, two, three, four, almost five inches. Let's see, one, two, three, four and a half inches wide. So this is what I did. I laid my pattern pieces next to each other. I've already sewn this together and I'm not ripping it out. It's very hard to slide this together. And I always tell you, don't cut velvet in a layer. Well, uh, for this, you are going to cut it in a layer. So make sure everything is lined up. There's my center front seam. And there's my shoulder and there's my back. Now, I'm not going to use the rotary cutter. I could, but I'm not for this. My neckline for how low it was is fine. If you look at here... There's my shoulder seam, and that's about how low it is, which once it was on, it wasn't too bad. I wanted a little bit of, you know, fabric, so I could lower this a little bit if I want to. I really want to lower it back here, though, and I also lowered it in the back, just a little different style. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to get rid of just a little bit here. What did I say? Two and a half? That's about that. Now, you can use your ruler, of course. You know me. I already know that probably by heart, so I'm just going to cut. I'm getting rid of about an inch lower on the back. Before, after. Before, after. And now on the center back, just give yourself a, a very short snip, like an eighth of an inch. And a short one on the front. So what I've done here is I've lowered my front just a little bit. I've made this a little bit more of a curve, narrowed my shoulders. So this will open my neckline a little bit. And I did it in the back as well. Because then when I do the twisted neckline, I'll have a little bit of room in the back. Maybe you could see the back of my necklace. I have long hair, so that's not going to matter. But that's just a little bit different look. So that's the only thing I changed. If I wanted this to go out even a little bit more, Let's make this a little different. I will keep cutting just like this. I'm eyeballing it, but that has a nice curve to it, doesn't it? So now we have before, after, and then really after. That's how much I cut off. All right, so let me flip this around and show you what this ends up looking like for my neckline. Look at how much wider open that is. And it's not that it's going to be lower. It'll be a little lower in the back, but it's basically wider on my shoulders. And then you can add a pretty wide twisted neckline, and it'll still look nice. Now, I probably wouldn't cut it this wide and then turn it under and do a cover stitch. That might be a little bit risque. But, you know, hey, depends where you're going. Now, something else I want to talk about is on this top here, this is the burgundy. I cut it with the fabric, with the... The fuzzy's going down with the nap going down, okay, on both sides. On this one here, I thought it'd be kind of fun to cut it the other direction just to see if it gave a different look on camera. So I cut it with the nap going up. Now, I have to tell you, every time I rub it, I'm feeling my fabric. It's a whole different feel, but I liked it. It's different. So if you accidentally, I, I point this out because maybe you accidentally did that. 
even my sleeves are going the wrong direction. But that's fine. It's not really right or wrong. Just make sure whatever you do for one piece, you do the same thing for everything else. Make sense? All right, there's your neckline. All right, now before I go to the cover stitch machine, Marsha, you wanted to see the blue? They say it's turquoise. I would call this more of a baby blue. This is, and I think there's only maybe, I don't even know if, I might have taken it off the website. I, oh, there might be like one, maybe three yards left, but this is the blue. So what is left, by the way, for those of you that are late to the party, there's this color, there's the purple. There's more burgundy. And this is all this is all on the app, by the way. The Angel of Patterns app. The burgundy is really pretty. And then I just got in the bright red, which looks really pretty. There's a little bit more of this color. The royal blue. I just ordered some more of that. I think I got their last three bolts. This would make a beautiful pair of pajamas, by the way. It would also make a great top. Color blocked with black, maybe. But I could see this definitely a beautiful bathrobe or something like that. And then the last color is I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. There's two more. The red which is very similar to what I'm wearing, but you see mine has sparkles on it. I didn't do that, I bought it that way. I think I bought this at Joanne's years ago. There's red and then there's dark navy. So that's what's left. Now I wanna to go to the cover stitch machine and give you some ideas for hemming. But before I go there, I'll make sure that I did not miss any of your questions. Now yesterday, by the way, um, the software here was acting really weird and everybody froze for a long time and the live show didn't end for a long time. It wasn't my fault, by the way. It was something with their server. But I just want to make sure <laughs> that I don't miss any questions. Oh, Shirley, you didn't get the email? Well, um, message, if you send me a message, make sure you're on my email list because it went out yesterday. I don't know what time do you all, did you all get it? I want to say yesterday in the afternoon, like 3.30. And I also just put a... Um, a copy of it on Facebook. I think you're on YouTube though. So, oh, Stacy bought an embroidery machine. Ooh, <laughs> everyone give Stacy the warning. It's a very expensive, awesome hobby. Very. All right. Any other questions about cutting that before I move on? Nope, nope. Oh, Marianne, I'm excited about the jeans class too. Uh, no, there's no prereq prerequisite, but uh, so Marianne, were you, did you ever take any of my craftsy classes? So I have a link to my craftsy class, which is sewing jeans, sewing designer jeans. So that covered like the basics of everything for sewing jeans. This class is going to be an up above that. So if you're totally new to sewing jeans, you might want to get a refresher and take that class. I'm still going to show you step by step, but I'm going to add some really cool pockets. I've got some cool embellishments for you to do to the fabric. So it's kind of jeans. Sewing jeans on crack, <laughs> but it's still sewing jeans. All right, anything else? Oh yeah, forced, forced. Oh yay, Glenda, you're gonna be in class. Angie, I'm cutting yours right now. I saw that you <laughs> had asked about what color is the brown. You got the last piece, by the way, so congrats. Oh, Mari, I'm gonna it's gonna be great to see you there. Is the festival part to Road to California? Yeah, Marsha. Well, it's actually Road to California is the week after. So this is a brand new festival, totally about garment sewing and embroidery and things like that. And it's the week before. So same place, same location, same vendors. Okay, Heather, I'm glad that you forgive me for not attending. <laughs> and I told Jeff from Kai Scissors that I couldn't go because I had a special trip I had to do. And he was like, Oh, but now we're good. <laughs> we're good. All right. Any, oh, yeah. So, hey, Veronica, yes. ELO Flex Thread would be good on that. That's what I was thinking, actually. I just couldn't think of the name of it. Helen, you can get um, ELO Flexes from Coates and Clark. So, look on, it's in my Amazon, on my Amazon um, 
shopping cart if you look there and also where else you joanne's carries it sometimes you can find it at quite a few sewing shops but check my amazon store all right i think that's it no more oh wow you guys have a lot of questions going on <laughs> oh isn't the purple beautiful oh i agree karen bra strap alert <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, on the purple. You know what? Not so bad because you add the wider collar. So even though you cut this back, if you add the wider collar, you're filling that in. Also, Karen, do you remember those bra straps that I showed you guys how to make with the silk top? That's a great thing to add into your shoulders if you have a wider neckline because it keeps your bra straps in place. All right. Oh, I see a couple more questions before I go to the cover stitch machine. Uh, no, Joanna, I think I sold the last of the black and they don't have any left or I would have bought more black. Marty, I agree. A new robe. Uh, Marsha, turquoise is the teal. They call it turquoise. Um, so that is what I just showed you. That's the same thing. Uh, no teal. There's no, that is the only blue. They call it turquoise. I would call it baby blue all day long. Oh, that's so fun. Lynn, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh. So they called that like a turquoise teal. I call it baby blue. Just so you know. Uh, how do you add the yards you want in the app? So when you go to the app, if you and you could do it on the website too, but it's it's not the Angel of Patterns. It's Angel of Patterns app. So let me just show you real quick. If you go to the app, this is how it opens. And you can still watch the last sale. I think everything's not on sale anymore. You got to catch the sale when the sale goes. I just added a whole bunch of new tweeds uh, that have, I'm going, I'm emptying my stash out. So those will be going on sale this weekend just to give you a little heads up. Right now they're full price, but watch what the prices do tomorrow because I just uploaded them. So once you go in here, uh, one more thing, by the way, if you're going to add and you want a whole yard to your cart, check the description. The velvets are sold by the yard, but all these tweeds are by a half of a yard. So if you click on a tweed, it'll say sold by the half of a yard. So make sure that you pay attention to that. And so if you say you want two yards of this, you would click add to cart. I know that's kind of bright. Here, I'll take you over here to be less bright. How's that better? Mm, kind of. You'll say add to cart. Uh, you slide to place the order. And if you want more, more than one yard, you just keep, you'll slide. Maybe. There you go. Slide to order. Oh, you know what? I'm not signed in. You just add however many pieces you want. So if you want two yards, you would put two of these into your cart, if that makes sense. And by the way, it's the only way they can do it that way. But what I do is I look at your whole order, and if I see three of one, then I know it's three yards of velvet. I don't cut you three individual pieces. That would be crazy. And usually uh, you have 24 hours to check out before the app goes away. So I'm planning a really cool... Christmas, holiday, fabric, stash, sale. Big time. I'm getting rid of some fabrics because I want to make room for some new stuff coming in. Uh, Susan, the new red is, I would say, I would say it's a true red. Not This is more orangey. That one's more of um, a deep red. Like a not quite red apple, but something like that. Angie's got it. Just click the plus button again and again, however many yards you want. And I just put something in there, by the way, and I don't know if it started today or tomorrow, but it should have started today. Any order over $200, you get free shipping. Hey, Delia, I thought I messaged you, but I, did you see my link? You can watch the replay for 48 hours. Let's see. I'll, I just had it right here. Here you go. I'm going to put it in the comments. That was the dime one. I agree. Embroidery is addictive. 
Oh, thanks, Angie. That was one of my first Craftsy classes. It was wonderful. So, Marianne, I will send you a link because I'm sure they're going to have a sale over Thanksgiving weekend. Yay, Susie. You used your <laughs> cover stitch machine. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, Monica. I'm pretty sure they sell the stretch thread. Yeah, they have other kinds of stretch thread, too. But uh, they do sell Eloflex. Just be careful because if you're going to use the Eloflex, if you've watched some of my videos on YouTube, you have to wind the bobbin with the same. So you have to have the elastic thread in the top and the bottom. And uh, just be careful when you wind that bobbin. Do it slowly because if you stretch that thread too much, you'll end up with a very elastic -y, stretchy. Oh, Delia, you want the link to the classes in California. So it is W... Here, I'll type it in for you. You have to put the WW in, otherwise you get an error on the website. Uh, Sewingfestival.com. www.sewingfestival.com. Uh, Jennifer, your stretch thread breaks constantly um, while you're sewing. Any tips? Yeah. So check your stitch length. If your stitch length is too long, it will actually will rip out on your shirt. I use about a 2.5 sometimes with that. Then the other thing, make sure you're using a new needle, stretch needle, and also check your bobbin. If you wound that bobbin too tight, then that will cause it. And also check your upper tension because if your upper tension in your machine is too tight, uh, that will cause breaking, all of those things. Also make sure your thread isn't too old. Pull it, make sure it doesn't just break because then that's bad. <laughs> oh, it's not on wall walk. That's interesting. The cover stitch machine is the only one you've used, Karina, before we became friends. Well, now you have like every machine. So uh, is the wine color velvet on your app the burgundy? Yeah, it is, Amy. And also, by the way, if you order on the app and it puts you into a wait list, once I always make sure I have three yards left just in case they gave me a short amount on my bolt or something. So if you're in the wait list, and it turns out that you wanted two yards and I get to the end and I have two yards, I'll put another two yards in there and then it will go to you. Uh, Darlene, $200 uh, on the app, you get free shipping. That's what it is. Otherwise, shipping's just regular. It, it's been running anywhere from $9 for fabric to 13 or 14. Some people on the West Coast, it's been 18, but uh, as soon as I get about three pounds, I send UPS, it's much cheaper. I always try to get you a deal. And almost all of you got a refund last week of between $1.10 and $7 because you paid too much for shipping. Uh, Stacy, it's free shipping in the U.S., but as always for international people, all you have to do is just message me because I always try to find the cheapest I can for you. And I either send a little gift with it or I uh, pay for part of it for you. Oh, Rhonda, you have to make it. You have to make it. Mary took all the crafty classes. I have seven on there. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, does the Fashion Sewing Club discount work on the app? No, because the fact that I already have everything discounted on the apps, the Fashion Sewing Club discount works on Angela Wolf patterns. So there you go. Thank you for asking that, too. Did I sew all those pearls on your top? So these are not pearls. These are like, I don't know what you'd even call it. They're almost like if you took a bunch of silver and pressed it into the shirt, that's what it is. It was, it came like that. <laughs> hey, Bev, yes, you can use that link to the dime class. And I saw your phone call after uh, the fact, and I can send you an email too to that in case you missed it. The stretch thread go in the bobbin too? It sure does. Yes. But be careful how fast you wind it. Go really slow. Oh, Susan, you just got three yards of red. So what are you going to make? Because the I love, now this one's like, I don't know, you could, it's a little low for maybe this, but it's really fun for the holidays or a dinner party. Not that that matters. It's just when and I at the dinner parties. <laughs> so Leah, I hope you can get into the class. All right, uh, Cindy Ball. 
So no, your password, when you, the app is totally separate website than everything else. So you have to create your own username, your own password there. Sometimes uh, you can log in because I know not all of you are on Facebook. So the website for that app is actually, you have to be on Facebook. That's why I did the app. So just set up your own username, password uh, for that. It's totally separate. And then you can do anything you want to. Susan, maybe um, if I get my tush in gear, I can finish measuring my sleeves for that outfit that you're going to knit me some sleeves. I'll send it all together. <laughs> oh, Heather. Okay, I will. It's bling. That's what it is. All right. So you ready to go to the cover stitch machine? <laughs> Uh, Marcia, if you're going to purchase the Bella top, then do it on the other website because you have a Fashion Sewing Club discount. Now, if you end up ordering off the app and the other website, not to make this confusing as heck, but one is the, the Fashion, I'm basically calling it the Fabric Stash site. The other one is my regular site. If I see two orders come through or you send me a message, what I do is combine shipping and refund one or the other. If that makes sense. That's a great question, though, because I've had a, quite a few people on the Fashion Sewing Club go and order. In case you've never been to the Fashion Sewing Club or you're wondering, should I be a member? You get more discounts than you ever pay for your membership. But um, it's on all patterns, all the fabric on the Angela Wolf pattern site. So make sure you check that out. All right, let's go to the cover stitch machine. And I know you all are waiting patiently to see who wins today. But we started late today because I wanted to make sure you had your dime event which was fantastic. Eileen always does a great job. All right, so this is the cover stitch machine. I've got everything here. So I have two pieces of fabric here. I have my sewing mat, of course. Okay, so here's a piece of velvet. Is this the straight one? So this would be if you're hemming the seam is totally straight all the way across the bottom. So maybe your ruched T, you just have to, uh, it's not curved, you know, longer in the back. This is totally straight. So I was noticing without pressing, if you just fold this up, make sure I might make it just a little bit lighter because this, this wine color or burgundy is a little bit dark. Let's see if that's better. this and just fold your hem back for as far as you need it. You could use fabric clips if you want, but you can see that hem now, right? Oh, it matches my nail polish, which I need to repaint my nails. So I'm going to fold this up, slide it under. Now I don't have this in the round, but you'll get the idea. As I sew, or I'm actually I'm not sewing, I'm hemming, but as I do this, I'm going to hold my hand back here and hold where that hem is. Now you could have your hem allowance wherever you want it to be. I usually line, I almost always, I line mine up right with this edge on the machine. But you have a guide here if you need to move it over and make it bigger. But as I'm doing this, I'm just going to go a little ways and then I'll look back and make sure that I have this in the right spot. Hold it with my hand. And go a little bit further. Now check again. Hold it with your hand and go a little bit further. And I think this would be a really good option for those that are like, oh my gosh, I don't have an iron shoe. I don't want to accidentally press my velvet and have a mess there. Now there's nothing in here. No interfacing, nothing. And look at how nicely this looks. Now I'm just going to stop because it's not in the round. To end this stitch, let's pretend we stitched all the way around. Put your needle in the top position. Lift your presser foot. And also, depending on your machine, there's a couple of machines that are much easier to get out of here, but this one isn't too bad. And then I slide out my top threads and pull at the bottom, just like that. And I'm using purple thread for my last top. So I've got my two, These I'm only using, I have three needles in there, but I'm only using two upper needle threads pull those out and cut that and then here's your little close-up give it a tug 
and all of the threads go to the back side. I've got this wad here that I could either tie if I want, or usually I just trim it, but you could also tie it if you wanted to secure that. So look at how nice that stitch looks. And then from this side, beautiful. I want to take you to the table for a minute because I want to point something out. And then we'll do a curved one because that could be even trickier. So back to this table now that I've made a complete mess of this. By the way, if I'm out of any of these colors that you're looking for, you can always email me because I might have one or two yards left that I'm saving in my stash that, you know, I maybe could part with, but not until I, I have a top made. <laughs> all right, let me get this all out of the way. So what I want to point out here is I'm laying this completely flat now. And look at how straight that is. Now, I didn't stitch down here, and I, I just started up here. But look at how straight that is. There's no twisting of the fabric. This isn't uneven. By turning it and holding and turning it and holding it, I didn't have to press it. And it looks great. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. And I'll make you a little brighter. Maybe I won't. There's the back side. Now, also, if you have a few pieces, maybe I didn't cut this totally straight and you need to trim a little bit of this, be very careful. And I will usually fold the hem back and trim that way with my giant kai scissors. Uh, that way I don't run the risk of trimming through my fabric. Make sense? All right, so I've got one more piece here that I wanna show you. So let's take a look at this first. So we're just going to say that this is my hem and I'm going to cut this in a curve and that looks pretty good. So now I have a curved edge. And I'll show you, it works the exact same way. Do you want to curve on both sides? All right, we could do that. So now we have a curve. We'll start with a curve. We come down to the curve and back up here. Uh, that can be a little tricky, but I'm going to do the exact same thing. So come on over. And on my way, I want to make sure there weren't any other questions on that last part that I just showed you. <laughs> uh, you always get a lettuce ruffle. Yes. So a couple things. If you don't want that lettuce ruffle when you're hemming, number one, you could press like I showed you last week and use the Taylor's clapper. Now, on any other fabric besides velvet, I would always press. I'm getting velvet. Velvet pieces in my glasses. <laughs> Uh, but if, but also, another thing, Brenda, is uh, when you do this, make sure you're folding up at least a half of an inch. If you're only doing like this much, you will end up with, it'll flip up. It gets all nasty. Oh, did Blinky, oh, goodness, Blinky's in action again. <laughs> oh, goodness. The tug never works for you, Marcia. So make sure your presser foot is up. And when you're tugging, you're, you're pulling, you're releasing your threads on the top and pull, release, pull. Looks like, oh my gosh, Monica, I've got a whole nother dance for you. <laughs> All right, so let's go back. And yeah, it's hard to see on the light fabric, but that's all I got right now. I'm not going to cut into the lighter fabrics until later, maybe next week, because I have a few more designs for you, a color blocked uh, in the... In the cover stitch, I'm just using a universal size 12. Blinky's at it. I guess I didn't notice. Oh, thank you. All right. Anything else? Oh, Karina, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Denise, I thought that was you, but your picture's really small on the YouTube. I'm like, that sure looks like Denise. Thank you for saying it was you before I said it was you and it wasn't. <laughs> Oh, great. I get to see you on Sunday. 
Uh, the name of the app, Brenda, is Angela Wolf Patterns. And it just looks like my logo, Angela Wolf Patterns. I can put a link in here too. I put it in the newsletter yesterday. Oh, you got the hooping station. And that's going to be nice. And those were really nice deals that Dime had for us, wasn't it? I thought so too. Though that's always a great time to stock up on things like stabilizer and stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to go back to the cover stitch. Let's try this one more time, and then we'll do our monstrous giveaway. By the way, while I'm doing this, if you leave a comment with your favorite video, don't forget, if you left a comment today, there will be a giveaway for anybody. All of you have commented anyways, but leave a comment with your favorite video of my YouTube videos, and you'll be in that giveaway. So there's three giveaways at the end of the day today. All right, so I know this fabric is dark. I'm going to try to lighten up just a little bit more for you. If I had white velvet, I would use that, but I didn't want white. That'd be more like a bride. How's that? So again, I'm going to fold this up, and I'm folding it up at least half of an inch. Got that? I'm going to slide this under as if I was going in all the way around. So normally you would lift up your presser foot and just slide your fabric under. Never start at the very end. You want to start somewhere. Usually I'll start at the side seam. And now because we're going around the curve, I'm only going to stop about every inch. Fold it up. Can you see that? Hold your finger. Now, if I start to fold this up and I can see little wrinkles here, I'm going to have wrinkles when I'm finished. So whatever you see is what you're gonna get. I'm gonna fold it up and just go maybe an inch. Let's go another little bit this far. This far. I'm trying to watch the camera, so I think my stitch might be a little crooked, but you'll forgive me, right? And then I'll get to the end. And we'll pretend that this is the end of the top. Uh, oh, Blinky is being, Blinky is acting a little weird today. It is storming out, or maybe it's the squirrels, who knows. All right, so I'm gonna again pull. Make sure you pull this out enough that you don't cut it too short that you have to re-thread your needles. That can always be a pain. And I always give myself about an inch, and I'm only cutting the two on the top. Give it a tug. All of the threads go to the back. And then you can either tie these off, tuck them under, whatever you decide to do. And look at how nice that looks. And it stretches. So when you put your top on, you don't have to worry about that not stretching out. That's why we like the cover stitch. So let's go back to the table and take a closer look at this. <laughs> I'm walking over and I can see Monica. <laughs> Monica, you're the best. I'm not as good of a dancer as you are. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, Kate, when I use my cover stitch machine, the threads break when I go over a seam, but carries on sewing. So, a couple things, it depends. Make sure you're using new needles. That's one thing that could do it. Make sure you're using the right size needle for your project. And if you get to a really thick hem, sometimes I will use my hand wheel to slowly go over that seam. Just the home, the home versions of the cover stitch aren't as sturdy as like the commercial ones where you see a beautiful cover stitch. It'll still do a beautiful cover stitch. But when you get to that inside hem, maybe use your hand wheel. And if you're using fabric that's super, super thick, sometimes I will slice right into the seam allowance and press, well, fold one side of the seam allowance to one side and one to the other to kind of even out that bulk. Two ideas for you. All right, let's go back to the table and then I'll take the rest of your questions and then we'll do our giveaway. There we go. All right, so what I have here is the front. And look at that curve. I didn't press it. Now that's a little crooked right there if you look closely at that stitch, but that was my fault. I was leaning over the camera. 
There's no like twistedness, there's no skews. And the back. <laughs> Hi Wynn. <laughs> I didn't I didn't answer. I hung up on him. Uh, and then the back side looks like this. Really nice, right? Okay. I'm coming back over. Okay, so I'll take your questions and then we better do our big giveaway. So we're giving away an embroidery machine. We are giving away snips to some one lucky person that put a photo or left a comment of how your day was on Sunday because you sure made my day. And also we're giving away something to anyone who left a comment today on any of the YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch places. All right. So let me see if you have any questions first. Uh, and I'll tell Wynn I'll have to call him back later. He's not used to me having the show so late. He probably thinks I'm all done. Any other questions? Marsha, I get it out and the thread to the back doesn't work. Oh, you can't. So make sure you only pull, cut the two top threads, Marsha, and then pull it to the back. Uh, Karen, how would you adjust the facings for those wider necklines? Here, I'll show you real quick. Or I'll just walk you through it. Let me take you back to the table. I'll leave your comments up so everybody knows what we're doing. So if I cut a wider neckline like that, by the way, I probably would not use a facing. I would use a collar. Now, if I have a wider neckline like this and I do a facing, just make sure you don't, you know, cut it too low. And then all of a sudden you're like, uh-oh. Uh, but if you wanted a facing, actually, I don't think I would with this wide. Because look, I don't have much room in my shoulders. But to, in general, to make a facing... You would trace, trace the front and the shoulder just like your other. And it's usually about two and a half to three inches and then all the way up to this side. Now, one thing you could do if you're making a tank top is you could have a facing from here and go around to your underarm. But on velvet, that's going to show, uh, I'm afraid. So instead, this is what I did, is I did the twisted collar. And that way... I have a wider neckline, but this twisted collar kind of brought this in about an inch and added a little bit of pizzazz. So there was no facing on that piece, Karen. Make sense? <laughs> hey, Eileen, pull the top two top threads to the back side. And I usually just cut it off then. Every once in a while, I'll take it, those four, those four threads in the back and just tie it in a knot and then cut it. But either way, it works. <laughs> we can see you now, Denise. Um, so Crafty Classes, I think you have to have a subscription now. I'll check, though. I'll send a link. I'll put it in our um, Angela Patterns Facebook group. How's that? Hi, Nancy. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, thank you. Kitty wants to win. <laughs> oh, the French jacket, Jessica. That's one of my favorites, too. And it was great to see you uh, on the Dime event today. I agree, Trudy. Awesome. Oh, the brown jacket, yes. So, by the way, some of you had messaged me, uh, and I promise them we'll do our giveaway, messaged me about the classes at the Sewing Fest. Now, it's really hard to do pictures, so let me give you a quick general. I decided, since you only have three hours, it's really hard to make a whole outfit. It's hard to do fitting in three hours that, you know, for the way I like to do it. <laughs> and those of you been in my studio know I don't do fitting in three hours. I mean, I can, but not with 20 students. So I thought it'd be more fun to, a lot of you have asked I, that you want to learn how to do some embellishing on fabrics. So one of the classes is uh, how to embroider on knits. So that's a really cool one. I think that one is half full right now. That's on Sunday. There's another one on Sunday, though, and that is uh, adding a touch of couture. Now, I should have them switch the title because it's really how to sew bound buttonholes, welt pockets, and curved welt pockets. So you'll be given all the fabric, the facing, and everything to do like little mini jackets to learn how to do that hands-on. You will also be using, uh, assuming that that's they're all in stock, uh, we're going to be using the luminaire. So I could... I could not go and do a luminaire on a class on the luminaire and not have some form of embroidery or embellishment. So 
one of the classes I got an email about was the picture looks like um, a yarn scarf. You probably saw me do that blog post. I have to better, I better get a better picture because someone said, is that just yarn or how do you do that? Well, there's two ways to do it, sewing or embroidery. We're gonna be doing both. But have you guys, I don't know if I have shown you this yet and maybe I'll have to show it to you my birthday week. I've been working on some making my own fabric with thicker yarn where you lay the pieces on sticky wash away and then you sew across all of that, wash the sticky way away and you have beautiful fabric. So I better get a better photo in there because some of you asked, is that all we're doing? I'm like, no, no, <laughs> we're doing something really cool in there. And then speaking of the brown jacket that is quilted, we're going to be doing that on faux leather and quilting on ponty knit. That's another class. You'll do enough fabric that you can go home and make your own project. But I'm showing you the techniques that I use all the time. Sometimes you see it on live, but you'll get your hands on the machine and you can do it yourself. So there's a lot of cool things in there. Just message me if you have a question about the class, though. Uh, Alita, so the cover stitch does a double, a narrow cover stitch, a wide cover stitch, triple cover stitch, which is three needles, a chain stitch, which is great on stretch fabric, and this one also does the double cover stitch, if that makes sense. Oh, Michelle even has the number. All right. 247 from Cindy. Eileen, <laughs> that's probably going to be one of my best, too. <laughs> oh, you guys have a lot of good ones. All right, so let's do our giveaways. How's that? <laughs> Any and all videos. That sounds perfect. Uh, can I use a sewing machine to hem velvet? Yeah, Brenda, you can. I would probably use a twin needle. So use a twin needle. I, have, I know I have an episode about that on YouTube. So go to my YouTube channel and look up twin needle. Oh, there you go, Marianne. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. I think first we will do a giveaway. Nancy, is Sunday class virtual? Uh, I don't think I have a class on Sunday. I'm just doing a giveaway for everyone that left a photo on Sunday. <laughs> that was a photo of your outdoors, if that's what you were talking to. Oh, Sunday class. I'm sorry, Nancy. Are you thinking of the Sunday class for the Sew Fest? Those are all in person. None of those are virtual. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking Sunday. I don't usually work on Sunday. So let me think about that. All right. So let me bring up my handy dandy software here. We'll do some drum rolls. So let me just go in here so I can. Hold on one sec. I think first we will do a giveaway for anyone and by the way, you might want to watch Sundays in the winter. That's usually when we're leaving photos of what happened in our world or what's out our door. So let me just find your post real quick. Hold on one second. It was just right here. And I can put it in my software and it will magically pick someone. <laughs> you guys are all hilarious. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still thinking that. Okay. Timeline contest. Let's go to that link for the, in case you missed it, by the way, I'll share my screen real quick. <laughs> oh, my most, what you know, my most fun is just hanging out with all of you because you just crack me up sometimes. And you never miss a beat. That's all I have to say. So here on the Angela Wolf Facebook page, and I know not all of you are on Facebook, but this is just a fun place that sometimes I will put a photo of what's out my window. So this was out the window because we got a bunch of snow, just a little bit. I think it's all melted now. And Sundays I don't work. Uh, well, not usually. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to post a photo and see what's out your window. So if you want to get some awesome information and meet half of the wolf pack, you will see all the photos we got. These were amazing. We had people driving. They weren't driving and taking photos. Don't worry. I got Susie's sewing station, the sky. Oh my gosh, Pam and a few other people put sky pictures. We had Italy. We had Alaska. Ooh, Evie, it looks really cold there. <laughs> wow. These are awesome though. So anyways, here we go. 
Brenda, she was in Italy. This one definitely was the coolest photo of all. <laughs> Super cool. All right, so let's go and do a giveaway for this. I'm not giving the giveaway for the best photo. Otherwise, she would totally win because the Italy was just pretty cool. I was like, whoa, but Alaska was a close tie. Let me get this post here. This app is always a little bit of a... This app is out. <laughs> you hear me talking to myself? Where did it go? Here it is. It takes a second to load. While it's doing that, I know I was thinking the same thing. Italy, Italy. Oh, Marcia, you asked me this before. The Bella, 44-inch bust. I have it right here. The Bella, 44-inch bust. You would probably want... Hmm. Well, it depends. Marsha, because if you have a little bit fuller tummy, you're going to want to go to like a 16W, which is the smallest size on the plus. It's a whole different body shape. Um, if you have a slender, more slender stomach, then you'll want to go to like an 18, which is an extra, the extra large 18. So you're right on the borderline. I think I would, hmm, I met you in person. So I'm just trying to remember, but I haven't seen you in like three years. So I don't know. But if you want to message me your other measurements, I can help with that. Okay, come on, contest. It's loading, it's loading. All right, we'll do that last since it's taking forever. Or else I might, if it doesn't load, I'll have to do it after. Maybe it won't do it because we're live on Facebook. I don't know. I'll bet you that's it. All right, so all of you that left something on Sunday, you're just going to have to watch after the show. I will post the winner. How's that? Nothing like making you hang a little bit longer. So let's do the giveaway for this then. Snips. Many of you bought these. Thank you, by the way. These are the Angela Wolfs. They are a limited order that I made. And they do lock, by the way. This is a little tricky. So you go like this and slide it up. And then they lock. Or go like that and slide it down. Goes on your belt. My husband's already taken two pairs for fishing. So broaden your horizon, I guess. <laughs> All right, so this is a different contest app, which won't care if I'm on. And this is going to anyone that left a comment today. Oh, Arnell, your, your Sunday can't be that dull. <laughs> All right, this, are we on um, episode 247? Yep. Start collecting names right now. It already has all of you that have left comments. You should be in there. <laughs> so, Joanna, the, the UPS guy didn't actually want come in during the live show. He came in right before the live show. So I just talked about it. Now, there's a whole other episode that the plumber kept coming in, and that was pretty funny, too, but... All right, let's make the draw. Let's see if I can bring this up. Who's going to win the snippers for today? Jennifer Hoffman. Whoop, whoop, Jennifer Hoffman. So Jennifer, if you will just send me a private message or send me an email, I will give me your address and I will send these on your way. Enjoy. Oh, Karina, how could have I forgotten that? The yarn ball to get the squirrel out of the studio. Yeah, that was an interesting day too. All right, and now we have a drawing for the sewing machine and uh, I'd like to give a shout out to, there you are, Jennifer. Congratulations. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Sewing Machines Plus. Blaine is the one that offered to give away the brother embroidery machine. Thank you, Blaine. 
Thank you, Sewing Machines Plus. I know they have a big, big sales coming this weekend, so keep an eye out. And let me just check here for the winner. Of it's a different app, so it doesn't do it quite as fun as that, but it still works. The winner of the embroidery machine. Drum roll. I need to have like a little drum roll thing because it takes me a few minutes to get from screen to screen to make sure I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> the winner is Robin Peters. Congratulations, you have won an embroidery machine from Sewing Machines Plus. And this is, by the way, a shout out because, why? Because we are celebrating 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We actually hit 51 this month. I so appreciate all of you for doing that. Very cool. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'll just double check if my software will work to see who have left them for, for Sundays. If it doesn't, I'll do it later. This is what we're celebrating. I should cross it out and put a 51,000. Just wait till we get to 100. I'll have a huge giveaway. That might be a while. <laughs> that might be a while, but I don't know. You will factor pretty awesome, and you seem to share everything with your friends, which is awesome. So if you have a friend that you think would enjoy watching, be sure to send them over because it's always great to see. New sewing friends, add to the wolf pack, right? All right, everyone, this was a great show. So what I'm going to do is I'm feeling that contest app is not going to work on my timeline. You want to know why? Because we're live and it's working on the timeline. So what I will do is I will announce the winner later today. I have to run now, but I will announce the winner. So you're probably wondering, what's the rest of the schedule? If you didn't get the email, by the way, uh, tomorrow, Fashion Sewing Club, we have a Zoom, our live show and tell Zoom chat. Uh, that's tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow at noon. Barb is going to be on, on the brother show next week. I'll send you the schedule because I know I'll be on Tuesday and Wednesday, but obviously not Thursday. And I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. I know some of you are traveling and this is your last show for a couple of weeks. So I just want to say thanks. And by the way, thank you for watching everyone. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm making sure you don't have any more questions for me. Oh, my camera's like in a weird spot today. So I can't see as well. Yeah, I know leaning over there you go if you need to find me that's where you find me i know Lori. 50 and we're not talking about age <laughs> oh you're welcome you're welcome congrats robin it's so nice to see you all have a great day shirley happy thanksgiving helen all right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I cannot wait to see your velvet outfits. So don't forget to share them on Instagram. There's my Instagram over here. <laughs> and if you can't figure out how to use the app, it's Angela Wolf Patterns app. It's a totally different website than everything else. Everything on there will be on sale at some point, And that's where our live shows will be for our fabric stash. So if you have any questions, you just let me know. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. <laughs>